Hey boys, it's Arm None. Today, we're gonna to be customizing the brand new Grotti Turismo Omaggio. We're also gonna be customizing all of the other cars that you see in here uh, that are in white. I'm very hyped, boys. If you're new to the channel, if you could sub, that would help me out greatly. If you guys could also drop a like, that would be huge as well. I typically don't ask, but in this case, I'm really trying to hit 200K before the year ends. We're gonna go ahead and get started with the armor. We're going all the way up on that, the brakes as well. Let's quickly run through the engine as well, and let's go and upgrade the transmission to the race transmission, and let's go ahead and throw the turbo on. And now we're gonna get into the actual customization. So for the front bumper options, we do have quite a few different ones here. We do have some forged options, which is kind of nice. And honestly, none of them are like super like amazing to me. I think that for today's build, I kind of want to go forged carbon fin splitter. So we're gonna go for that. And then for the rear, I'm gonna go, ooh, that's actually kind of low-key really ugly. Um, you know what, maybe I'm gonna go carbon for the rear and I'm actually just gonna go for the fin to splitter on the front because that's in carbon already. So we'll go for that. Canards, we can add some onto the car. Not a big fan of these canards. However, these ones are kind of cool actually. So let's go carbon accents, why not? For the exhaust, we have chrome exhausts or titanium. Titanium looks sick, we're gonna go for that. Imani Tech. I had a feeling that this was going to be an Imani Tech vehicle. Very glad that it is. Missile lock on jammer. Let's go for it. For the lights, we are going to go Xenon. For the neon kit, let's go all the way up on that as well. For the livery, we have quite a few different liveries here. We got the Omaggio stripes, the Omaggio touring stripes, the Grotti classic stripes, Grotti challenge stripes, Grotti Italia, sport orange, sport yellow, sport new generation oh why does that look kind of sick that's kind of tight actually i kind of like that okay we got the outlined sport we got the narc terrell that's sick turismo gt tinkle racing globe oil racing grotty racing no go vodka excelsior grotty racing grotty new generation gt grotty amatech race bro what flint turismo splash Vicaru. SA Wasabi Kitty, Rockstar Motorsport. Oh, dude, they've added so much for this car. That's so sick. Okay, I kind of want to go Sport New Generation, low key. Uh, so we'll go for that for right now. For the plates, we have a Sprunk and an Ecola plate. Interesting. Well, let's go for the Ecola today because that's new. Why not? Let's do that. Now, this car only has a primary color, which is kind of annoying. Uh, however, it could be worse. I think for today, I kind of want to go Mariner Blue. I know some people are going to make fun of me for that because I do use Mariner Blue semi-often, but I feel like it looks good with this livery, so we're going to go for that. Now, for the roof, we can go plastic, carbon, or forged carbon. I'm going to go for the carbon roof. I feel like it looks kind of tight. Actually, you know what? Honestly, I feel like the stock roof might actually be a little bit better, and you know what? I'm actually not really feeling the livery. I'm going to remove it, so we'll do that. For the skirts, we do have quite a few different options now some of them are pretty questionable uh, we will go for the carbon skirts to start off with i think because that is kind of weird looking to me uh, for the splitters we can go for some carbon duct insets that's pretty cool we can also go for carbon duct fins oh those look crazy and we can also go carbon overlays that's pretty sick too man these there's some clean options for this car i'm not gonna lie um, I kind of like the carbon duct fins though. I think those are pretty sick. So we're gonna go for that for the spoiler We can go carbon wrap forged carbon wrap. We can go for the carbon arrow wing We've also got that in forged as well. We got the track wing performance wing and the street SPL Honestly, I want the traction bonus. So I think I'm gonna have to go for the carbon wrap Either that or the carbon arrow wing. Maybe the carbon arrow wing is a little better. No, I kind of like this to be honest I just don't like how much it's carbon in the back. We're gonna go carbon arrow wing just to kind of avoid that. Uh, for the suspension, I am gonna slam it all the way down, I think. I think that's probably the best option that we really have. Uh, the carbon duct plate, we have the carbon overlay. We've also got that in forged. Uh, we have the twin vented hood and carbon duct panels. Honestly, I'm kind of feeling just the carbon duct plate. I feel like that looks sick, so we'll do that. Uh, for the vents, we can go vented fenders, that's kind of cool. 
Um, we'll go... You know what, I'm gonna go body color, honestly, for the track fenders. I kinda, I kinda am liking that. Uh, for the wheels, anything new? Doesn't really seem like it. Uh, for the wheels on this car, I think that the high fives suit it really well. I was thinking that as soon as I saw it, so I'm gonna go for those. We're gonna go for those in black. Bulletproof the tires, and for the windows, we will tint them. We'll do dark smoke on the windows. That looks pretty sick. I'm pretty happy with how this has turned out, except one thing, one thing. I mean, everyone's gonna make it red, right? But surely I at least have to check. Yo, yellow's f fire though. Yellow's fire though. It does look amazing in red. I can't lie, but I'm going yellow, bro. What? This, oh, this looks crazy. I'm gonna race yellow. That shit looks crazy. Oh my God, okay. Let's take this thing outside. Uh, now we're gonna do a quick sound test. So let's take a listen to it and then we're gonna get into the full review, of course. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, it sounds about exactly as you would expect it to sound. It's it's nothing it's nothing too special, it's nothing too unique or new. Uh, but that's okay, you know what? Yeah, why, why, you know, if it's not broke, don't fix it, you know what I'm saying? So, it, it sounds okay. I mean, would it be nice to get a new sound? Yes, obviously, of course it would, but uh, you know what? It's still okay. I've got to say, right off the bat, guys, this thing is stupid fast. It is stupid fast. Now, I'm playing on PC. This thing might just have an HSW upgrade. I have a feeling that it might uh, because, well, it's got Imani Tech and usually Rockstar's dropping supercars with Imani Tech and, uh, and HSW, at least lately they have been. So it wouldn't exactly surprise me if it was an HSW car. But even as a non-HSW car, maybe it's not, um, it is still stupid fast. I think this might just be one of the new fastest cars in the game. The handling is like unreal. It goes around these corners like it's nothing. Like it's, it's actually kind of nuts how fast it goes around these corners and it turns in so well. There's absolutely no understeer with this vehicle, which is crazy. Like usually you get something wrong with a vehicle, this thing, it is so glued to the road, like, it's actually nuts, guys. This car is insane. I cannot wait to race with this car. I think it's gonna be so sick. So uh, we'll, we'll definitely be doing some racing with this vehicle for sure. We're also gonna be doing a customization battle uh, later in the week with NPC and Twingo. So stay tuned for that as well, guys. But overall, I would say this car is super worth picking up. It is very fun to drive. It is actually, insanely good like through the corners everything like that it's also super fast in a straight line the customization is pretty good as well i would say like overall i there's there's nothing wrong with this vehicle you guys should definitely be picking this thing up if uh, if you got the money to do so you might want to try the new business but i don't know this car i would say is a solid lock for this dlc it's definitely going to be a staple of this whole update it is crazy good crazy good guys um anyways that's pretty much it for my uh, customization and review of the turismo what is it called again i gotta check this bro the amagio the turismo amagio that is all i have to say about it you should probably pick it up it's a very good vehicle uh, it's definitely going to be a top performer for sure anyway guys uh, like i said at the start if you could leave a like that would help me out greatly subscribe if you guys are new we're trying to get to 200k and i will see you all in the next video until then take care Peace.